All right. I can't take it anymore. I don't understand what in the world is going on here. All right. Sorry. All right. So what we have here is ludicrous. Somebody tell me how Georgia makes the top four, right? At eight and one with a freaking loss to South Carolina and Alabama only, only goes back to number five. I'm actually okay with LSU being number one. Joe Burrow is a beast. Their Cajun coach is amazing. Ohio State, okay. They're undefeated Big Ten. That's a great Power Five conference. But then you've got Minnesota, who was undefeated in the West Division of the Big Ten, still has a chance to win the Big Ten undefeated. The thing is, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at here is a committee with SEC bias. SEC bias. One, four, and five. You got two SEC teams with one loss, Georgia 8-1, and one, Alabama 8-1, and one, and you've got an undefeated Big Ten team sitting at number eight who just beat Penn State number four. Then you have undefeated Baylor at number 13. Ranked number 13, are you kidding me? If Oklahoma was 9-0, you bet their ass would probably be up there at four, five, six at the highest, but yet... You're going to wait till they have to beat Oklahoma. And then when Baylor smokes Oklahoma this weekend and Oklahoma goes tail between their legs after the loss, everybody's going to say, oh, well, they probably should have been ranked higher. Yeah. Minnesota beat Penn State when they were number four. Why are they only number eight? Why is Georgia number four? I just can't get it, ladies and gentlemen. The bias in the SEC is real. The committee must be from Georgia. Somebody's going to be getting paid to put Georgia high what they lost to South Carolina folks I said it embarrassing loss just as embarrassing if not worse than Ohio State's loss to Purdue last year and guess what that kept Ohio State out of the playoffs you tell me what the hell is going on 